<laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I don't know. So what do you Why think? I What's the this? percentage of times that Dan hits record and has to remind you? Uh, like 80? No, no, no. I was at like 60%. Okay. 60%. Thank feels, you, Dan. Bye. It feels like 80. Right. I just don't remember. It's not the ro Is that the ropey one? No. Oh, I want the ropey one. That's so much more comfortable. Okay. We'll get there. Okay. Wait, are you leaving? No, it's right here. Okay, because <laughs> I started the episode yeah. way too early if you actually walk out of this room. Yeah, I know. Uh, we is. have a whiskey oh. today. Whoa, that's a lot of glasses. Oh, it so must be Rare Whiskey Friday. It's Rare Whiskey Friday. Okay. Well, thanks to Rob Holla, patron saint. But hang on. Oh, I forgot bottles. Yeah, you got to do Here they are. Here, have Rob two. Rob Holla, you patron saint of whiskey. Here, the, tri the tri triumphant thing. <laughs> all right, so we have... So we like Virginia distillery. This is all from Virginia. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I mean, really quick. Virginia distillers. Just gotta get it, just gotta get it done. <sighs> oh, I see what you're doing, yeah, okay. Oh, and make sure you can see my knees for this, too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through and give first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. Sometimes they are. More often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be so lucky to live in a place where you can get your hands on these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review and thank you to the Magnificent Bastards. Yeah. Oh. No! Oh, no! You're so close! To the Magnificent Bastards that sent the whiskey! Oh, if not for the syllable fumble, that would have been in! It was in the red zone, man. You got to complete there. <sighs> All right, these are batch fours uh, and batch seven. Um, basically, this is where the Virginia distillery takes Scottish malt, yes. brings it to the US, mm -hmm. probably teaspooned, mm -hmm. blends it with their own, okay, and then does, on this one, okay. a finishing to it. It's really quick. Uh, it's got to be teaspooned coming from Scotland because if it doesn't leave it in a bottle, um, if it shows up like a tote or a barrel, you have to teaspoon in something so you can't call it Scottish single malt. They, they ever so slightly ruin it so you can't legally technically call it Scotch. Uh, but what you're saying is they get a teaspoon thing, shows up 99.999% mm -hmm. actual Scotch. Right. And then they take that 99.99% actual Scotch and then blend their own stuff with the Scotch. Yes. Do we know how much is the Scotchy Scotch and how much is their stuff? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. This one is a beer finish. Do we know what kind of beer? This one, yes, yeah, right here. It's a whiskey, whiskey assassins barrel aged ale. Ale, okay. Um, Whisker assassins from Three Stars Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. This is a Chardonnay cask yes. uh, from I can't, but they use a bunch of different wine eaters in Virginia. Okay. And this is a cider cask Ooh. from a Virginia cidery. Okay. Right. I am most intrigued. By, by the cider. cider. Okay. I'm most hopeful for the Chardonnay. Let's start with the and Chardonnay. And I have no idea what's going to happen with the ale. Yeah. So your left and my left Chardonnay. Yeah. I'm going to pour them all because why not? Sure. Ooh. And and then cider. I mean, Let's do this. You can definitely tell the scotchiness. The scotchiness is coming through in spades. Okay. The Chardonnay, then the ale, you said? Cider. Cider. Sar Chardonnay, cider, and ale. then the ale. Got it. And beyond the finish, these are all the same thing? In theory. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know their batch blending taste profiles, uh, so I don't know how close they are together to start okay. with, but yes. I want to believe that. Yeah. Because easy. just a glancing blow on the nose. The, the difference that the, the, the finishes did if it's the same spirit going mm -hmm. in different barrels, that's a really cool explanation of what Whoa. a finish can do, how a finish can change the character of a whiskey. There are definitely differences across these three. I think I, I think I poured them in the right order too, because yeah. I think it gets more dramatic as we go to the right. I think so too. Uh, yeah, that was a blind guess, but I think it worked out. Wow. Wow. Okay, so first, the Chardonnay. Of course, yeah. a softer, mm -hmm. sweeter. Yep. This buttery. And it's, uh, I, would, I would describe it a little bit more fl uh, as floral than fruity. Yeah, and this is very much uh, like a space side, yes. sweet, barley forward, mm -hmm. malty, grain note. Yeah, 
Honestly, if you didn't tell me they had blended in some of their own stuff, mm -hmm. I just would have been in uh, sweeter scotch flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe pears? Mm, okay. Let me see. Honey? Yeah. It's very soft and sort of... Yeah. If you like space side, buttery. You, you would like that for sure. Oh, yeah. It's very desserty, but not overly sugared. Yeah. So I would say it's in the dessert category, mm -hmm. but it's not dense creamy sugar ice creamy yeah, or if you like space side maltiness cake or pie. and there's there's a cereal quality to it also mm -hmm. yeah you, you would like that you would feel yeah. right at home in there um i am very curious as to what their own spirit brought to the table when they were blending it in because man i'm just getting scotchy scotch <clears throat> and you know i would have just called that if i was just going it blind i would never have guessed chardonnay i don't think i think i might have just said a really vanilla cream and fruit forward space side with yeah. bourbon cask aging yeah yeah so cider the cider already it's interesting to me on the nose more How, dramatic well more dramatic but also it feels like everything's kind of taped together it's a little bit um there's piece there's flashes of things happening instead of one cohesive no the opposite mm. like everything's kind of it, it, there's there's more oomph there but it's more squished together and condensed oh okay that's what you're saying yeah i don't know that i'm getting that yet but i do think it's dense it's more dense and I get less floral sweetness. I get more, as I like the oaky character. I almost wish I hadn't heard cider because all I can think of is apples now. Really? You know? See, all right. But I, that's gotta be psychosomatic at some level. Maybe not. I mean, it, it's in cider barrels. It's gonna be apple. I don't know, it just feels so obvious. Oh, I get a hint of apple in this. You know what, it, it's uh, striking me as the nose of you know those carbonated waters like LaCroix and whatever? Ooh. It, it smells like if there was an apple version yeah. of a carbonated water. Oh. That's what it smells like. This one goes honeysuckle, cream, and lemon zest, and then it bursts, and the aftertaste is apples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will say it is less floral than the Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. The Chardonnay finish. A little more zesty, too. Like, a little more oof, I will, bitey. I will tell you, though, there is a youngness across both of these so far. Mm -hmm. It's not an aged, very mature, very developed whiskey right. that just gets really thick and concentrated and dense and, yeah, um, uh, not, not voluptuous with the flavors, but yeah. the succulent with the flavors, since we're talking about flowers, why not? Okay, this one, the beer cask finish one? Most dramatic on the nose. Is that. musty. Yeah. Musty and a borderline, some type of uh, really old wood in the forest, like like. See, aged. I'm thinking cellar. Okay. I'm thinking it smells yeah, like yeah. a wood beam cellar. Okay, so that, that damp quality, something aged for a long time. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. What is almost, that? Almost. Oh. Almost a smoke? What is that? Almost sour. Like a char? You know what it reminded me of? It reminds me of... Um, I get wood burning kit char. Yeah, maybe a little bit. It's It's got this sort of tangy finish like a, like a, a room temperature ale. That sort of bitter, slightly sour residual beer aftertaste, yeah. low carbonation. Uh-huh. Um, not my favorite. I was... The ale, I think, took it tangy. So on the nose, it was the most different by far. Yeah. But I think what the finish did, mm -hmm. it feels like it was just a little bit too different. It didn't really complement the original spirit quite well. It didn't yeah, accent anything. It's just kind of like very divergent flavors just hanging out in the same glass. That tangy aftertaste threw me. How, hmm. it, it doesn't feel like a whiskey aftertaste. But again, uh, the just the innate character of this. Oh yeah, young, and love. I love the ability to compare those three things. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's well, cool. And I wish think, I wish we knew for sure, for sure, whether or not these were the same spirits, just yeah. with different finishes. Most classic Scotch yes. style whiskey. Yeah. My favorite. Okay. The weirdest, most unique one, yeah. but also not my favorite. My favorite is the first one, mm. the Chardonnay. The floral, and I'm basically just living in the scotchiness of it. Mm -hmm. uh, everything beyond that, like the Chardonnay finish, I don't know what that's doing. Um, the things that they blended in, that's their own stuff, I don't know what the proportion is. I just know the things that I like about Space Side, that's showing up in here uh, with the asterisk of there is this little bit of a twang that I think is probably come from, that's coming from youngness. Mm, probably. I'm just throwing it out there. We'll I see. Don't know. But there you go. Was that the whole thing with just three? That was the whole thing. Just three? We've got a lot to shoot today. What, like, 
So this is the first episode of the batch of six. Oh. <laughs> and there are two rare whiskey Fridays. Should I reserve the Uber now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. <laughs> Toasted Toasted make up your mind. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>